Well, good morning, everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Inspiration for Today. And we're continuing our series of talking with uh, our, our church members so that you can get to know them better. But if, if you don't attend our church, they're all neighbors of yours here in Laguna Woods. So Richard Mason is who's with us today. And Richard, where in the woods do you live? I live in the towers in Laguna Woods. How do you like it? Oh, we love it. It was a great move for us. We we knew quite a bit about the towers before we moved here. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, we were a little familiar with things, but it, it's really a, a good place. It's a good place how, for how, us. How's your neighbors, though? You know, um, we've got great neighbors. And that's, that's one of the things that attracted us here is, is uh, how really nice um most almost all of the people are okay i just gotta say to everyone i'm not sure if richard picked up on my humor or not but i'm <laughs> one of his neighbors down the hall from him well so, i was gonna say that next yes oh yes <laughs> and we have and, a great um, neighborhood you know fortunately you're way down the hall so that's good. yeah <laughs> well he says way down the hall there's only six units on the whole thing anyway hey richard yeah. i wanted folks to get to know you a little bit better where where were you born and where were you how'd you yeah. get to california uh, <laughs> i got to california by the fact that i was born in los angeles ah and that'll and, do it yeah and as a matter of fact four years after i was born uh, and that was white memorial hospital four years after i was born my wife, Susan, was born in the same hospital. No way. That's true. That is great. Yeah. So you guys uh, played together as babies? No, no, we didn't. We didn't meet till many, many, many years after that. So, you know. I, I really blew up because I, I always like to ask you, because I ask most folks when they're on, if they have a favorite verse, because I think that really says a lot about the person and I, I asked Richard, can you give us a verse that's important in your life? Well, yes, yes, Rick. Uh, Matthew six thirty three has been, I guess, the verse that I would say um, is the life verse that I try to remind myself of all the time, and that is, "Seek ye first the kingdom of God and His righteousness." And all these things should be added unto you. And I've really found that to be true all of my life. That is, it's such great advice for us. And I, I know you personally, and you, it's something that putting God first is important to you. You put into practice that verse. Is that well, I I view it that you and Susan together. That's kind of how you're living your life. It seems like to me. Yes, it, yes, it really it really has been. You know, and and I guess a recent example of that is how we got to the towers. At the time we did, we've only been here eight months. Um, we were really weren't planning uh, so soon, so to speak. But a unit came open that we knew about. A friend lived here. And and so we said, this is the time we have to do it. And the way everything just fell into line, um, the sale of the home and everything and the purchase of our place here, it just went so smoothly to us. Uh, that was an indication of, of God saying, yes, this is the right time to make this move. And indeed, he has used you here to be a light for him. And you guys have, by the way, you still open your home to host your own small group. Yes. I think yes. that group was meeting prior to you moving here, though, right? Yes, we, we started our small group almost 10 years ago now. Uh -huh. We lived in the village for 10 years before we came here to the towers. And so our, we started our group about 10 years ago, and um, 
So it was just natural that we just continued to be the hosts as we moved over here. Yeah. yeah. Well, and, and so the folks just come over here. It, it's just great. And, uh, and then also, Richard, I appreciate so much that you uh, have helped us start a once a month Christian worship service right here in the towers that is fairly popular, but we keep praying that it'll become more popular, but a lot of folks are coming out. Yes, you know, and and um, I think, you know, looking at all of this over the past few months, um, because we really have a nucleus of people here, um, and so it was just part, I think, of the Lord saying, you know, this is where you need to be right now. By the way, if anyone wants to come worship, you're welcome to come on out. You don't have to live here. It's the first Friday night of each month at seven o'clock. You know, feel free to come on out. You also have other ministries at Saddleback Church. Tell us about that. Well, besides my wife and I being a host for a small group, I am a greeter before the 11 o'clock service. And what and does a greeter do? Well, a greeter is just does that. Greets people as they come and make them feel welcome. And, um, you know, I also try to get out there right after first service because we go to the first service. So I can also say goodbye to people as they leave. That's as well awesome. as the people that come for the 11 o'clock. That is awesome. And I, I want to tell you that probably unbeknownst to you, but one of the elders came by and all he could talk about was is how warm and friendly our particular campus of Saddleback is. And it's you, you greeters, you, you set the stage. It starts, uh, folks, I if you ever come, you, I want you to give it a test. See if you don't feel warmly welcomed prior to even getting to the to the continental breakfast we serve, but because mm -hmm. I know you will. And people, Dick, Dick does, Richard does a great job. Uh, but so do, and you have a good team of people out there, I think, don't you? Yes, uh, I really, I really enjoy doing it. It's great, and I love yeah. seeing people each week. So this is just a great thing. So when you any visitors that come, you see Richard and uh, uh, you just say, "Hey, I saw you on on Inspiration for Today." Your wife and Susan used to, folks who come to the church. Well, might remember her. She was in the band for a long, long time. What yes. She, she plays yes. what? Yeah, Susan uh, played the flute uh, for um, a few years uh, for the worship service. Yeah. Actually, she stayed over and w did the first service and the second service. Yeah, she she's a very good player. and And so... I know people would know that. Well, Richard, our time is almost up already. I can't believe it. But I th I thank you so much for sharing. Any last thoughts? You know, um, again, as I mentioned before, um, I, I think all of my life, as I look back over it, I can see the times that God has really made it very clear that um, he is guiding me and he is guiding us, Susan and I. And obviously that's a great comfort to us knowing that God cares about what we're doing. Well, folks, you see his heart. You see, you see Richard. And I thank you. We've got to go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you.